Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting Trains and today I've got a very quick build for you with one of my Metcalf kits which is not yet available to the public, ooh, out soon. Um, but in all seriousness, I wasn't expecting to do a video so if this isn't as polished as it could be then I apologise as I'm recording this between finishing work and then disappearing back off to the boat for the night. Uh, so let's turn the camera around and have a look at what the excitement's about. So as Pippin has a wash there in the background, let's take a look on the modeler's table. So I came back to my mum's house uh, for my dinner from work and discovered a parcel unexpectedly arrived and Metcalf has sent me some of their brand new Engage buildings to put together. And well, I wasn't expecting it, so thank you very much Metcalf, uh, greatly appreciated. Um, so, if we pan over to here though, a very small kit so that um, I can get to sleep tonight. So we're going to put together this uh, greenhouse kit, as you can see, tiny little kit, one single sheet of uh, laser cut cardboard here, and uh, of course we've got the glass panels, because this is a, a greenhouse that features an awful lot of glass in a small area. But if we zoom in before we start the build, you can see, well, how absolutely wonderful that effect is. Lovely stuff. I really do like the laser cut pieces in these kits and uh, things like the fountain and stuff like that. But that's a distraction. Let's start building. Often with these kits, I feel as if once I've popped all the pieces out of the card and cut the glass sections out, that it looks like there's even more pieces to the kit than I started with. However, in this case, I think it actually looks fewer. However, there were some challenges given the uh, small size of a lot of these sections. So firstly, you can see the glass going on and it's pretty simple and straightforward to build the main greenhouse itself. And there's two little benches, two little shelves on either side there. If you can see as we uh, zoom in, so that's just another thing, just a nice detail that there's actually stuff inside. And if you wanted, you could put tiny plant pots and stuff on there. So again, it's the sky's the limit with customization. Now these little lean-to sections, I can't think of the proper name, although my mum did just tell me repeatedly and I've already forgot. But these, because they're made up of such small pieces as you just saw there going together, I found this was actually quite a challenge to get them to be square. And as you can see, the building section of this video uh, didn't make up a huge chunk of time. However, when you see this next to that one pound coin, I think you can gather that it is a very, very small kit. And it is pretty simple and straightforward. It is obviously at Engage just filled with very, very small pieces. So definitely one to uh, test your patience, but what a fantastic result that is. I can't tell you how good I think that looks. So my friends, I've got to say, I'm looking forward to getting my little farmhouse garden section built as this is certainly gonna be an excellent addition. And we've even got a chap waiting to plant some flowers already there. So no pressure on me to get it sorted. Just before we go, I want to briefly mention something else on the layout. As many of you know, for a while I've been talking about building my little churchyard section and I was going to originally build it on a little clay base so it has risen up slightly elevated from the rest of the layout. However, I've recently discovered foam boards. So I am going to be using over the next couple of days these to cut and contour different levels for the churchyard to be on the top and have it all gradually going down to the layout level. Anyway, subscribe, hit the notification bell to see work on that and other sections of the layout and a load more Metcalf buildings. Thank you very much for tuning in, my friends. Thank you very much, Metcalf, as well. You're far too kind and generous. And uh, yeah, check the links in the description. You'll find loads of train stuff. You'll find me all over the internet. You'll also find my proper main YouTube channel. I say proper as if this now hasn't got over 3,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, friends. Um, all about life on a boat. Anyway, I'll leave you with the description and the links below. So just have a fantastic day. Keep it interesting. Keep it loco-worthy. And of course, my friends, farewell.